Hi, welcome to CTN Member Highlights. I'm Leslie McVean. I'm here at Port City Music Hall for WMBG's annual fashion show fundraiser with Dale Robin Goodman, the development director. Hi, Leslie. It's a fun night here, you know. Yeah, well, I can't wait to see some of this. And Cindy Flanders, who is the artistic director yes. of the event. Hello, thanks for coming. Yeah. <laughs> now, Dale, how many years have you been doing this? Well, WMPG started this 13 years ago. This is the 13th annual. It was started by volunteers like Cindy, who are um, interested in the local design community and um, wearable art and fashion and um, things that are expressive and energetic and uh, we always have a great time. And you, you change it up a little bit every year. Now this year you have people from the Circus of Maine? or the, Just the opening act. Uh -huh. we, we try to welcome people with something fun and this year um, Circus Maine is doing a, a, a short piece uh, hand balancing, so that should be fun. And then, but the real star of the show is um, the runway with all the designers and um, the fabulous creations that they make. Very different, very diverse. Mm -hmm. And you've got music? Yeah, DJ Shane from WMPG. I think they call him Low Down Dirty Shane from WMPG. I like that. And uh, Cindy, now you're the artistic director. Yes. What, what does that mean? That means that I get to spend lots of time coordinating designers and models and getting all their garments in an order that looks beautiful on the runway. Yeah. And then you send them out then there? send them out there out into the world to do their thing, yeah. Now, did yeah. you sort of interview the um, designers or did you pick the no, designers? they are all volunteer. Anyone who expresses interest in being part of our show, we welcome them in with open arms. So we have a very eclectic mix on the runway, everything from like, you know, street kind of punk kind of stuff up to, you know, high fashion. It's like everything. Wow. Yeah. And these are all from the Portland area? Yes, all from the greater Portland area. We have... 12 designers and about 52 walks on the runway tonight. And is this something you do in your day life when you're not doing these events? No, no, um, I have worked, I've done design work before and modeling stuff before, but yeah, so, but now I'm just behind the scenes and it's really fun back there. Well, now I'm with David Milliken, one of the designers of the show tonight. Hi, David. Hi. Now you're a student at Grey New Gloucester High School, but you're going to paths for their design program. Yep, for the fashion marketing program. And how long is that program? Do you go just part of the time? Uh, I go about half the day. I leave my school at 10.20, I get there at 11, and I leave there at 1.15. And do you go every day, Monday through Friday? Yep, every day. So it sounds like a wonderful program, and this is one of your creations. Yep, this is one of them. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you're wearing? Um, Right, okay. So, first of all, this is my one of my denim jackets I had. This was actually my dad's in high school. He gave me and found in the basement. Um, I started off by painting it piece by piece because I didn't have anything to put on it. But then I started ordering patches. I took leather pieces off of other pieces. I hand stitched. Everything I have is hand stitched. I don't use machine for anything. And uh, these are my pants. These were pants that I was given. Uh, I bleached them. I put patches on them as I acquire them. Kind of just go with what I get. So where do you get your ideas? I mean, do you do you see a piece of fabric and it says, "Wow, you've got to do this," or do you just how do you do it? Uh, I start off, but whatever I acquire for items as patches, I buy at uh, shows or different materials I take from different pieces of clothing, such as canvas and leather. I just feel like I should attach it to something, and as I attach it piece by piece, the the image becomes larger and it just it, it forms its own piece, and I. I go very slowly, and over time, it just kind of it makes it its, itself. I don't plan what I do. Do you play with the fabrics and move them around? Uh, sometimes, sometimes I put things on on impulse, and then later on, I take them off because I don't like them as much. So there's a lot of cut-off items and rips and stuff where I've messed up cutting, but that's just all piece of the work. Yeah. So let's bring in a couple of the models, and you can tell us what they're wearing. Whatever. Uh, this is Emma Adams. This is my girlfriend. Uh, Hi, Emma. Hello. <laughs> all right. She's wearing one of my denim vests that I made. It was a jacket that I found in an estate sale, and it was insulated. Uh, it had snap buttons, but it didn't fit me so well, so I covered it in canvas and put these um, these clasps that I took off of camera pouches. Um, it has many patches and studs, some of them at which I made. Um, Do you want to turn around? Yep. This is just some patches that I've acquired over time. This is one that she actually made. 
for me, uh, hand stitching on some corduroy, and I put that on there. So does he use you as a model quite often? Yeah, usually. It's usually me, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of his design? I absolutely love it. I've never met anybody who like has these kind of you know ideas and the style. I love it. Do you just model the clothing, or does he let you actually wear them in real life? Well, actually, he's made me quite a few uh, garments. Um, I don't have them with me recently anymore, but um, yeah, I really love it. It's awesome. Okay, well, thank you so much, we'll, and we'll call in the next person. Hi. All right, this is Sydney. She's wearing a pair of shorts that I've had for a very long time, and just recently I've decided to start piecing them together and making something out of them as I figured I'm never going to get rid of them. Can you turn a little bit toward the camera, and then let's turn around a bit, the back. Very nice. Very uh, nice. Eventually, most of my clothing is going to be covered, but I kind of go with what I feel, and if I feel, don't feel like working on a certain item, but I feel like working on another, I'll start and mm -hmm. begin where I feel like it. Uh, yeah. I've kind of gone with a black and yellow and white theme for these, but mm -hmm. we'll see where they go. I kind of like that. They're just sort of one-sided there. It's yeah. kind of fun. But you never know. You never know. Thank you. Well, thank you. I uh, hope you have quite a lot of success. You, you're going to graduate, you. and then where do you want to go with this? Um, I don't really know. Most of the stuff that I've made is stuff that I just wear, mm -hmm. and I haven't actually, this is actually my first fashion show that I have. Most of the stuff that she's modeled has been act, just wearing it about mm -hmm. in person and whatnot. Uh, I'll see if I go to any more of them. I plan on maybe go to a shoemaking school. Yeah. I don't really know yet, so. And this has been a um, very um, exciting time for you and the students at school, but I hear the program's closing. Yeah, yeah, our fashion program at Paths is being cut by the school board. And after 27 years, this is the last year, and we've tried to get them to keep it. But well, I'm, I'm sorry, but at least you got to get through the program. Yeah, at least. Thank you, David. Thank you. I'm now with Justin Desper. Hi, Justin. Hello. Uh, designs, fashion and design student at Mecca. Yes. Senior. Senior, yes. Uh, what happens after this? Uh, I go to Europe for a month, mm -hmm. uh, the day after graduation. Um, and then I have an internship with Jill McGowan here in town, um, and I've been talking to Transform It in Gorham. Fantastic. So tell me what inspires you? How do you get the ideas for your designs? Uh, well, I was a biology student for a few years before I went to Mecca. Um, so I've done a lot of my work based off of things in the natural world that I find beautiful. Um, and a lot of the time, those aren't things that other people typically find beautiful, like fungus, insects. Um, so I sort of like to show what I like about them. Mm -hmm. And do you take designs from uh, looking through the microscope as well? Um, not so much. Mm -hmm. um, I've taken patterns off of things, mm -hmm. um, but nothing really microscopic. Mm -hmm. Not well, yet, at least. What an interesting, you know, inspiration for you. Yeah, um, yeah, I think it was sort of just culture shock coming into Mecca from a science background. Mm -hmm. um, so I just sort of latched on to something that I knew. And why did you, why did you make that change from, from biology to fashion? Well, I had, um, I always loved animals and learning about them and, you know, like playing with bugs in my backyard. Um, but the more I got into the biology program and seeing the jobs out there, it just wasn't really for me. Um, and I'd got into making costumes for conventions and it was to the point that I was doing that like exclusively in my free time and not doing homework because of it. And so when I realized biology wasn't the path, it just sort of made sense. Well, let's look at some of your lovely designs. Sure. Could you introduce your models? So this is Charlotte. Um, she is wearing a piece modeled after the Clathrus crispus oh. fungus. Oh. <laughs> um, Charlotte's also a Mecca student, freshman. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So this is a f based on a fungus that um, looks like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much looks like this. Yeah. Section. I love this dress. Would you turn around, please? Thank you. And are you a, a design student as well? Um, I will be. Mm -hmm. um, when I turn senior, mm -hmm. I'll graduate with a degree in fashion. <laughs> But you're just getting started yeah, here, just so. Getting started, so. Well, thank you. So uh, this is Audrey, another Mecca student. 
Um, this is based off of the Maiden Veil fungus. Um, so this piece, I really wanted to play with the laser cutter. Mm -hmm. um, and so I built this whole pattern digitally by taking that pattern from uh, a picture of the fungus mm -hmm. and placing it on the pattern pieces for the dress uh -huh. um, and then had it all laser cut. Oh, um, that's fascinating. Could you turn for us? Oh, it's great. Terrific. And what is that? What is the fabric? Is it leather? It's a leather. Yep. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Thank you. This mm, is this just is elegant. Ellie. <laughs> yeah. Ellie in the elegant dress. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so this piece is called lamella, which is the term for the little gill things underneath mushroom caps. Oh, um, yes. So yeah, that's sort of... <laughs> I can, as you see, can it. see Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's lovely. How does it feel wearing that dress? It's good. Do you feel rather elegant? Yes. <laughs> and I think it brings, brings me up. Yeah. <laughs> could you turn around so we could see the back? Oh, it's just, it's just beautiful. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. All three of them are lovely. Well, thank you. Thank and you. Have fun at the show tonight. I hope to. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.